Great right, fire pupils, uh, the next part of our addition formula notes, and this time is the application. In this particular example, we are asked to show the value of sine PQR is equal to 4 over 5. Okay, according to the diagram, PQR is this angle here. So if we've got a, a larger angle, we can call or label each of the smaller angles that make it up. Okay, therefore, if we're looking for a sign P. QR, then we can call this sine of A plus B. So a wee bit of problem solving to begin with, and once we've got that situation, we are able to create our expansion once we've got all the values of our triangle. Okay. So going to the triangle, if we look at the top triangle, we have uh, 15, 25, and we are missing a side for x. So x squared plus 15 squared is equal to 25 squared. x squared plus 225 is equal to 625. x squared is 400. So x must equal to the root 400, which is 20. 20 for that side there. In the second triangle with B or angle, we've got 25 is not hypotenuse, we've got 7, so we need our Y value. So again, through Pythagoras, Y squared plus 7 squared is equal to 25 squared. 49, 6, 2, 5. Y squared is 5, 7, 6. Root of 5, 7, 6 is 24. Okay, that means we've got all the information that we require. But sometimes just to make it a wee bit simpler, we can make sure we've got all the information our triangles. This is our PQS triangle, which is 20, 25. I've just flipped this. 15 and that in between the 20 and the 25 is my angle A. Opposite adjacent hypotenuse. So sine A is my opposite over how my hypotenuse. Goes A. 20 adjacent over hypotenuse. So again, just using my trig ratios. And my second triangle has B in between 25, 24, and a height 7. Again, B, there's my angle opposite. Adjacent hypotenuse. So sine B, 7 over 25. Cos B, 24 over 25. Okay. So back to our expansion that we stated at the beginning so sine of a cos of b consistent for sine plus cos of a sine of b and it's a case of taking each of the values sine a 15 over 25 cos b 24 over 25 just be careful you're taking the correct values that one there, cos A, 20 over 25, multiplied by sine B, which is 7 over 25. So a good thing about these sort of questions we know what we're aiming for, we're aiming for four fifths, 
15 lots of 24 is 360. 25 times 25, 25 squared, 625. 140 over 625, which is 500 over 625. Difference on them is 125. 125 25 into 5, it goes 4 times. And 5 times in there. So. Wee bit of instruction from that. Okay, 4 fifths. Let's just show that as requested. So a wee bit of problem solving. Correctly use the correct expansion, a plus or minus. And again, we can find our values from our triangles. Task-wise, see, show my homework for specific instructions from your class teacher.